me again, still with horrible hair. But I want to do a quick um, Bojack Horseman um, video just to to wrap up the uh, the session on this first day of July of the year of our Lord. 2022, 2020, yeah, <laughs> it is, um, so I think I mentioned this in the description, Bojack is as important a show to its time as any other in any era, and that's just, it's, it's this, it's just, if you want, you have to watch it all. Like, picking an episode to show is very difficult. So I, I just, my default is usually just uh, show the pilot. Because, as you know, a pilot's the purest idea. You can see sort of some of the moves, where it's going. But the show sort of grew in a good way. Like, most sitcoms grow in a bad way. They grow further and further away from the central theme or point and it's all sensationalized and based on catchphrases and you know stereotypes and things like that and they just get worse and worse and characters become caricatures of themselves um this took this idea that you know obviously bojack horseman this washed up tv star got caught between you know being this extreme narcissist who hates himself and thinks he wants the glory of his past to come back but doesn't really it, it, you know he's a complicated character for sure um but this show increasingly became about mental health and um as the show goes on it gets pretty dark if any of you have seen in its entirety, it gets really dark. But they really dig into, you know, some of the root causes of mental health issues and things like that. And anxiety and depression. Like, this stuff that's really become an epidemic in our country, it's, I mean, it is broken down and analyzed and sort of, you know, presented in some really complex and interesting ways on this show, right? Um, and I talked about exploitation versus exploration. And this show is not just like, oh, let's point and laugh at the at this character's misery, right? This is an exploitation of depression and anxiety and mental health issues and things like that. This is really digging for the root causes, and um, it's it's really a, a a nuanced treatment of mental health at a time when, as I said, mental health issues are skyrocketing, and people are starting to become more aware of them. COVID sort of exacerbated that whole process too. And this is sort of a good way to wrap up, bring it back to Inside, right? First thing we watched, Bo Burnham's Inside, is, has a lot of themes that Bojack, you know, sort of examines or plays out over the course of the show. So it's in, as important a show to its time than any other in any era. And I agree. I agree with that. Um... And in terms of, like, explore versus exploit, the show just doesn't glamorize mental illness, if that makes any sense, right? Or the circumstances that contribute to it, right? It's not, the punchline isn't, oh, he's crazy, you know, or whatever. It just doesn't do that. It's sort of, it gets its hands dirty 
kind of, again, dealing with what made Bojack this way. And it goes back to his, you know, his parents and the way they showed him love, like what got him attention and love growing up. And he became this star, you know, and that was all he cared about and it fueled him. Like, you know, it's just, there's a lot of things that, that happen here. Um, it kind of explores the complexities of mental health. Yes, I'm reading this off my notes here. Um, from a multitude of perspectives, right? Um, and the two multitude, like many, many, but the two most, you know, focal are Bojack and Mr. Peanut Butter. And if you think about the statement that it, they're making there, right? Mental illness can look as disturbing as Bojack, right? Bojack is clearly dealing with many of these issues, but it can look as sort of debilitating as Bojack or as quote unquote normal as Mr. Peanut Butter. Like Mr. Peanut Butter is fucked up. And yeah, maybe more so than Bojack in that he's all about the facade of normalcy, right? And hiding his insecurities and his fears and his, you know, his depression and his um, sadness or whatever it is behind this, you know, and it's, it's, it's no mistake that he's a golden retriever, right? Um, they, they play a lot with the characters and what animals they are. <laughs> and right down to Bojack, like the play on Bojack is, you know, the old why the long face, right? If you heard that joke, horse walks into a bar, it's like why the long face? And just, you know. But it's all, it's a play on that, that term, why the long face is what you say to someone who looks sad all the time right um but also is a horse like a long face so it's not a mistake that he's a golden retriever he was like you know always sort of happy and has that look but you know mr potato mr potato head what Mr. Peanut Butter's, <laughs> his sort of, his mental health issues aren't as destructive as Bojack's. They look different. It's not, it's not uh, any different than what I was just talking about in the Key and Peel video about there's no one way to be depressed, right? <laughs> right? Like, it looks different. And they do a great job of saying like, this is mental illness, this is mental illness, the, like the varying degrees of it, right? He goes into the hospital, he had a panic attack, right? And like that whole scene in the hospital is, you know, that's mental illness, right? Um, and Bojack kind of, kind of doesn't understand it yet. So a lot of it is, is him coming to grips, the series is him coming to grips with his uh, mental illness, his depression, like, and, you know, realizing the role that he plays in sort of perpetuating it and all this kind of stuff. So it's, it's a valuable show in that way. Um, and how we deal with it differently, right? Like Mr. Peanut Butter just buries it down and right never lets anybody see, and Bojack is just like you know sloppy and all over the place. Um, but other characters too, like Diane, talks about 
her anxieties and things like that. Um, so, yeah. Um, comfortable being uncomfortable. Like, that's, that's sort of become a theme in our culture. It's like, we've become, instead of actually being comfortable, we're comfortable being uncomfortable, if that makes any sense. And it shouldn't be that way, right? We've just been sort of conditioned to be like, yeah, well, you know, it's a shit show. So just get comfortable with the shit show, right? Like, no, let's stop the shit show. <laughs> just have our regular show. Um, we're sort of, we're good at ignoring our issues, right, for others. Like, that's another Mr. Peanut Butter thing. Like it's, he's ignoring his issues for other people, basically. Because, yeah, so that no one else has to feel uncomfortable or upset or sad or, uh, you know, or whatever it is, um, he, the, the, the pilot episode, but the whole, you know, one of the big topics of discussion about mental illness is how we treat it as a culture, right, you know, like when I was growing up, it was, oh, and you get this still, like, get over it, cheer up, smile, <laughs> right, like, why the long face like that kind of stuff well i'm clinically depressed what no just that you know that was it and, and, and if any of you are interested in this general topic you should go watch um gary gulman g-u-l-m-a-n the great depression stand up and it's so good that's about his battle with depression and mental illness. And he's very candid, but very funny. And he talks about growing up in the 70s, um, which is sadly when I grew up, too. Uh, <laughs> but it was, I mean, mental illness was like... They were just crazy people. Like, that was it. Mental illness was, like, you know, insanity. Like, that was it. So, depression, like, all this stuff, like, it wasn't even a thing. And if you felt that way, like, what did you do if you felt that way? People said, oh, stop. No, you're fine. Get over it. You know, smile. Cheer up. Why the long face? Um, so, I think this... Bojack at least asks us as a culture to look at mental illness. And I think we're we're getting there where you know, I think people are a little bit more sensitive about it and it's starting to be sort of recognized by the medical field as, you know, a condition to be treated and you know I think it's uh, slowly but surely I guess thanks to Bojack Horseman I don't know <laughs> I'd love to believe that but um, yeah okay blah, 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 blah. Symptoms, not cause. I don't know what that means. Need to maintain perception. Shaping reality to meet others' expectations. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. We're good at ignoring our issues, right? We can heal the symptoms but not affect the cause. And I think that's what BoJack is primarily about, is like, so you get this pilot episode in a lot of the first season, you'd be like, oh, this guy is 
a mess. He's fucked up. He's an alcoholic. He's a narcissistic. He's, you know, he's just a piece of shit. The rest of the series is like, well, why is he that? Right? Which goes back to what I said again, Key and Peel. We're all late in everything. Like, what about his life brought, you know, brought these things out, not maybe more healthier or constructive traits and qualities? Um, and you kind of, you kind of see that. Um, as the show goes on, and it, it, Bojack's kind of a holdover from that that old world way of looking at it, like just get over it, right? The one of the themes is you can't just power through it, right? Which is what everybody used to say, like, oh, just put your head down and it'll get better, just because. Like, just power through it. You can't power through this shit. Bojack is trying to power through this shit. Like, with drugs and alcohol and all these distractions. But when that fades away, he's still left with this crushing depression and feelings of anxiety and inadequacy and all that kind of stuff. Like, you can't power through it. Like we're starting to acknowledge that you can't power through it. Um, what's that say? I need to work on my penmanship. Um, oh, it's animated, right? You couldn't do this show, or you could do this show. It would not be a comedy if this was real like live action actors i just don't think you could right the animated nature allows a detachment from kind of the heavy subject matter um that allows introspection i think um and i think a lot bojack isn't the first cartoon to use the medium in this way um but that detachment, I think, helps to to sort of foster um, introspection, right? The whole pilot episode, Bojack, Bojack's afraid of people finding out who the real Bojack is. When that's right, so. So the whole thing about his book, right? He wants his book to be almost a reimagining, right? To live up to the expectation of who he's supposed to be or who he thinks people thinks think he should be. And this is how, you know, social media and fame and all these kinds of things can contribute to your mental sort of deterioration. Um it's like any reality TV show, basically. It's like nobody's really real in those shows. Like they're all performing this idea of who they think they're supposed to be. Um, and Bojack does that a lot <laughs> in the show. Um, Comedy is a great platform on which to explore ideas with this much gravity, right? Again, it's it's not this it's not this gritty drama about somebody, you know, going insane, which is I guess could be entertaining, has been entertaining in the past, uh, but I think the fact that this is a comedy. It, it just, I think it makes it a little more accessible to more people um, for heavy sub, like, subjects like this. And Bojack doesn't take that lightly. 
the people, the writers and the creators, and all that. They're they did their homework on a lot of this stuff. So, um, yeah. Um, sure, here are these two. Um, <laughs> a lot of the show works to normalize the or deconstruct the stigma of depression or mental health. Like, again, Mr. Peanut Butter doesn't want anybody to know. You know, Bojack doesn't want anybody to know who he really is. He's depressed and he's miserable. Like, he doesn't want anybody to know that because there's a stigma attached to it, right? Less so now, but again, it's almost weird now if you're not mentally ill. <laughs> right? Like, on some level. And COVID kind of took everything up a notch with with all of this, again, to tie it back into, to bring it full circle and go back to Bo Burnham's inside. Um, now, it's it's sort of, it's weird if you're not mentally ill in some way. Or anxious, or you know, all the different ways we can define um, mental illness. Um, it's not just again crazy people anymore. Um, perception is reality, and we are now able to manipulate perception more accurate, more acutely than ever. And that's Bojack, right? He wants everyone to see him a very specific way that is not true or real. But we have with social media and just the way the world works now, it's very easy to convince yourself that you are okay, that you are someone you're not, right? By the images that you put out and what you let people see of you. Um, Mm -hmm. This serves the wait, what? Oh, the series as a whole charts the depths to which depression can take you. Um, some people thought it got too dark. But again, I like it's I mean, this is where it was headed. If the show was going to stay true to its characters and things like that, like it was going to get dark. You had to see it coming. Um, again, it has to go there. Comedy should go there. It's, we should expect it to. If, if not, if, it, if comedy doesn't go there, it's exploitative, if that makes any sense. If you're going to combine <laughs> these two comedic theories of mine, um, what's that happening right now on my computer? Be kind. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> and we're only just now looking to starting to look into mental illness as a disease, right, as something that, um, as a disease. Uh, <laughs> the last thing I'll leave you with, with Bojack, and I'm, I didn't go have time to go through your comments, but I just wanted to get this up there for you guys to watch. Um, there's a lot of different theories about the show, but the one is that the each that each character represents one of the five stages of grief. Um, Mr. Peanut Butter is denial. Uh, Diane is anger. Princess Caroline is bargaining, 
Nicole Jeff is depression and Todd is acceptance. Like Todd seems he's the most fucked up, like traditionally, like he's he's a loser. You know, he's no job, he's just kind of a freeloader, drug addict, whatever. But he seems to be at least at peace with with that, with that as, aspect. Um, so he's an interesting character that kind of runs through the whole thing. But if you look at it that way, like, okay, yeah, that seems pretty deliberate that they kind of broke it down that way. Gives a little more depth to the show that's already deep. Um, so a lot of Bojack's anxiety stems from, uh, other people finding out the truth about him, right? So you see how this sort of, uh, working against itself, like the depression working against itself and things like that, um, yeah, it's it's really good. I would urge you if you have the time, put it on your list of shows to binge. Um, I think it's good. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, that's my little BoJack thing. Um, have a good weekend and